Hello everybody and welcome to the round of 16 for the Euro 2020 um, Adrenaline XL Edition tournament. So I'm very excited to do this round. Obviously we're opening six packs this time because there's fewer games and uh, six packs will be plenty to find some winners essentially, well I hope so at least. Um, so before we get into this, make sure you absolutely smash the like button, you smash the support on the first video where we've got the group stages done in one video. Now we're going to be doing the round of 16 where the fixtures are as follows. We've got Switzerland versus Austria, Russia versus Spain, Turkey, Denmark, Ukraine, Italy, Germany, Belgium, big game that, Croatia, Poland, Sweden, Netherlands and England and France, arguably game of the round, <laughs> um, which is mental. Um, so yeah, if you hit the live button, you've got two more seconds. Can you do it? Smash that live button, otherwise England won't win. And we, we, we're, we, you know, we want England to win, don't we? Let's be honest. But there we go. Uh, so basically, the winner of this game here, Switzerland Austria, will play the next row along, which is either Russia or Spain. So it will be Switzerland versus Russia, or Austria versus Russia, or Spain versus Switzerland, or you know the drill. So it'll be like that. The same for this, these two next to each other, then for these two, and then for these two. So who knows what's going to happen. Without further ado, let's get into the first pack. Who is going to win? Make sure your guesses in the, in the comment section now. Obviously these are the Euro 2020 Adrenaline Excel cards, UK and Ireland edition. Eight cards per pack, £1.70 per pack in your local news agents. Obviously this tournament is now in Euro... It's going to be Euro 2021 now, which is a big shame, but obviously COVID-19, we've got to, got to stay at home. So I'm hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying this uh, mini tournament to keep you occupied, I suppose. Um, but there we go, there's the odds. Hopefully we can get some cool cards while we're doing this. So, here we go into the first pack. And uh, obviously some, some of these cards will not count because they're out of the tournament, as we know. So... We've got uh, Yanko there for Czech Republic. They're not in it. Croatia, oh, that's a fantastic start for Ivan Rakitic. There we go uh, for the Croats. Fantastic stuff. So uh, it's 1-0 to Croatia in their game against Poland. So it's a big uh, opening score that uh, for the Croats. Uh, Scotland's team lineup there. Then we've got another Czech Republic player here, this time of Filip Novak. Uh, France, Kingsley Coleman, they take the lead against England. That's a big, big shame. There we go, so France lead against the three lines. Oh, no, what a shame. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne has put Belgium 1-0 up against Germany in one of the biggest games of the round so far. Uh, look at that, Kevin De Bruyne uh, puts Belgium in the lead away against Germany, even though it wouldn't really be an away game, but there we go. Uh, Belgium lead at the end of the day. We've got a Northern Ireland player, Shane Ferguson, and Chanaloglu, a Turkey. They are still in it, so Chanaloglu... Oh, don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, cracking player, nevertheless. Uh, he has given uh, Turkey the lead against Denmark. Uh, so that's like a cracking start for the Turks. And there we go. So these are the cards we can't use. Wow. What a start um, for those teams there. So Turkey, Belgium, Croatia and France currently lead in this tournament, in this round of 16. Leonardo Bonucci puts Italy 1-0 up against Ukraine. So that's a big score there from Italy's captain. But there we go, that's a big goal there for um, Italy's captain Leonardo Bonucci. Uh, who else we've got here? We've got all oh, the Netherlands. So that's a big goal for the Netherlands that they lead uh, now against Sweden. So as it stands, this, this round in the, in the quarterfinals will be France versus Netherlands. That'll be a tough game. But there we go, uh, the, um, the back four, the back three, as it says there, um, combining well to get a goal for uh, the Netherlands. And we've got a forward here, which is of Finland, and Finland didn't actually score a point in the first round, but obviously um, they're out of the tournament now, as we know. Uh, Turkey double their advantage against Denmark. Merash with the goal there. Emphatic stuff for Turkey. They lead two goals to nil, and Sweden have equalised against the Netherlands. Augustinsson with the goal. Uh, so, Netherlands lead didn't last too long at all, really, did it? There we go. There is a... Uh, Host city of Copenhagen. Austria. Are they taking the lead? I thought they'd knocked out, but no, they have not. And it's Valentino Lazaro with the goal for Austria. They lead against Switzerland. So that's a big goal for the Austrians there. And it's a clean sheet there for the, uh, the Croatia goalkeeper, uh, Livakovic. There we go. So Croatia are now two goals to the good. Fantastic stuff for Croatia. There we go. Uh, so Poland have, have it all to do, and so did Denmark, as we move in to the halfway point of this video. 
So still goals between Russia and Spain. And um, yeah, that's the only game with no goals in so far. That's another goal for Croatia here. They're winning now by three goals to nil against Poland. It looks like it's, uh, the, uh, their tournament is over now for Poland. But uh, Dejan Lovren with the goal. Uh, the fans' favourite there for Croatia. And Manuel Akanji has equalised for Switzerland. The defensive rock there for uh, the Swiss uh, Giants. There we go. So they equalise against Austria. one all in that game. That's a big goal for them, that. Northern Ireland badge there obviously can't be used. And oh, and Austria take the lead again. Uh, they're capable of a fantastic save. And they go down the other end, get a counter-attack and score a goal. Uh, but it's all thanks to this man, Linda, with the goal. And Austria now lead two goals to one. And uh, Ukraine have equalised against Italy. Against the odds, Stepanenko steps up, quite literally, and gets the goal. There we go, Austria, not Austria, Ukraine level against Italy. Uh, there's another Finland player, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't pack you in the first round, mate. Otherwise, uh, Finland could probably be through to the this stage. Switzerland take the oh, they equalise again. What a game this is turning out to be. It's the other centre back player that uh, player now for um, Switzerland, Fabian Schär. So Fabian Schär gets the equaliser there for Switzerland, and uh, it's now two all in that game against Austria. And then we have a Welsh player there, Chris Meppen, which can't be used as, as well as that Finnish player. So three packs down. We're halfway through now. Uh, the half time, well, the half time scores actually are uh, Switzerland 2, Austria 2, Russia 0, Spain 0, Turkey 2, Denmark 0, Ukraine 1, Italy 1, Germany 0, uh, Belgium 1, Croatia 3, Poland 0, Sweden 1, Netherlands 1, and England 0, France 1. So put your guesses in the comment section now who is going to win um, their respective games because this is tight. Uh, Piatov! Uh, puts it puts Ukraine in the lead against Italy. Wow, what an emphatic game Ukraine are having. Uh, so obviously um, Piatov must have made a cracking save. They've gone on the counter attack, and Ukraine have scored, and they now lead against the Italian giants. There we go. Ukraine two, Italy one. And on the midfielder here, it's a Russian, and it's the opening goal in that fixture just after half time. Akhmetov, the wonder kid for the Russians, puts them one 0 up against Spain. Obviously Spain have three wins to their name and uh, that's a fantastic goal for the Russians that. And the Netherlands uh, go back in the lead here through Dumfries. Uh, cracking goal from the fella. You know, probably running from fullback and ultimately getting that goal. So it's 2-1 to the Netherlands in their game against Sweden. We've got a Scottish player here, David Marshall, who um, well, they didn't qualify. Kovacic has made it 4-0 to Croatia. What a game that Croatia are having today. Wow. Uh, Kovacic giving them their fourth goal of the game. And it's a big equaliser here for Germany. Uh, Julian Brandt uh, with that goal. So it's 1-0 now between Germany and Belgium. What a game that is as well. Uh, so it's all to play for in that fixture. And Emil Kraft has equalised for Sweden against the Netherlands. So what a game that is as well. We've got quite a few Desmonds so far. Two twos, obviously. Emil Kraft with that goal. And uh, Portugal knocked out in the group stages. Ruben Diaz can't do much for the Portuguese players there. But there we go. So we're entering the late stages of this second half now. There's quite a few games which are, are drawing at the moment. So we're going to have to find some winners. So in this pack we've got the Belgium badge there. Um, obviously enough you can't really use the badge really can you. I can't be using that either. The Austria uh, team lineup there. Got midfielder here, which is for the Germans. That's a cracking goal for Germany. They now lead against Belgium. They've turned this game on its head. And it's the midfield engine of Gundogan, Kroos and Chan with that goal. Wow, so Germany lead. What a turnaround for the Germans. Uh, Kadora back there for Czech Republic can't be used. And Turkey have made it 3-0 against Denmark. It looks like Denmark will be heading out of this tournament. Gunuk, the goalkeeper, setting off a counter-attack there. Uh, for the Turks. Uh, Matt Doherty for, Nor uh, for Republic of Ireland can't be used. Uh, Krachoriak, uh, Poland, they've got to go back against Croatia. Could there be a late comeback on the cards? Um, Gregor's Krachoriak with the goal, so no clean sheet for Croatia today. And uh, Ozdoev has made it 2 0 to Russia, so it looks like Spain will be heading out. 
Um, wow, so that's another big shock to add to the list of shocks so far. So before we enter the last pack, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos like this, because this is very exciting. But so far, the scores on the doors are Switzerland 2, uh, Austria 2, so all to play for in the final pack. Um, Russia 2, Spain 0, Turkey 3, Denmark 0, Ukraine 2, Italy 1, Germany 2, Belgium 1, Croatia 3, or was it 4? Yeah, I think it's four. Yeah, Croatia four and uh, Poland one. Sweden two, Netherlands two and England nil. France one. So it looks like the three lines could be heading out. Um, so there's two draws at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, uh, Switzerland, Austria and Sweden, Netherlands are currently drawing so far. So hopefully we can find a winner in those games. We've got another Ukraine player, so it looks like Ukraine will be heading through to the quarterfinals. Yarmolenko with the goal, and uh, Italy are heading out. What a shock that is. So there we go, it's 3-1 to Ukraine. And so the Belgium, we've got a Belgian player here, it's Thomas Munier, all-rounder, and it's now 2-1 in that game against Germany. Wow, uh, that is emphatic uh, for Belgium there. Um... And who's this? Oh, I've got the Republic of Ireland uh, team photo there. That's kind of cute. Joe Allen there can't be used. Frankie De Jong puts the Netherlands in the in the lead. What a game for the Netherlands! So they've got a late goal there to potentially put them uh, uh, into the quarterfinals. So what a goal for Frankie there! So we've got a Finland magic moments card, which obviously can't be used there. Oh, it's Ukraine again with another goal. Italy are down and out now. And who's this fella? Uh, Sai Gankov with the goal there. For Ukraine. So 4 1 to Ukraine there. And the Netherlands have sealed the deal here. Davi Prupa with the goal. So Netherlands are going through to the quarterfinals. So uh, those are the final scores. Let's read out the final scores actually. So Switzerland 2, Austria 2. So we'll be counting up the overall scores and finding out who's the winner that way. Russia 2, Spain 0. So Spain are out. Uh, Turkey 4. Three? Is it Turkey 3 or is it Turkey 4? But anyway, Turkey have gone through. Denmark are out as well. Ukraine, I think, won 3-1 one or 4-1. 4-1 one. Uh, one in the end against Italy. So what a game for the Ukraines. Germany against Belgium finished as a Desmond 2-2 two -two, uh, between those two giants of European football. Croatia, the Croatia game finished 4-1 to Croatia against Poland. Uh, so Poland are out. Uh, Netherlands versus Sweden finished Netherlands four Sweden two so two low, or two or three late goals there for the Netherlands there and England are out um, failing to score in the round of 16s which is a massive shame but let's take out the teams which are definitely out uh, so Spain Denmark Italy so I know that quite a few of the home sides have actually gone through here Poland um, who else has gone out Sweden and England so we're going to, have to say goodbye to these teams so far obviously there will be a few more two more teams actually to be knocked out it'll either be Germany Belgium Switzerland or Austria uh, we're gonna to have to count up those scores in a minute but Denmark Spain Italy uh, Poland and Sweden and England are all out of the tournament what a massive shame that is but there we have it they've had a good run they've had a good run I suppose but let's add up these scores so so the final scores on the doors are between Switzerland and Austria. I've just counted up their stats. I've used a calculator as well. Uh, Switzerland have won. So they go through on 436 points um, compared to Austria's 408. Uh, it's a big shame for Austria. They fought well, but it's another home team which actually go through. So Austria, unfortunately for them, are out of the tournament. There we go. So Austria out. So one more team will be going out at this stage. It's either Germany or Belgium. Now this is going to be tight because we've got a couple of multiple cards here. And uh, some special cards between both sides. So it's going to be a tough one this. But let's find out who will be going through. Will it be Germany or Belgium? Put your guesses in the comment section. Now this was tight. This, um, this came down to two points. Now one team had 460 points. The other team had 462, and I can confirm that Belgium are the team which are going through to the quarterfinals. Germany are out. A lot of people thought they'd win this tournament in real life, but unfortunately for the Germans, they are out of the tournament. Wow. Even though they had this multiple card, which scored a total of 242 points, 
which is quite a hefty amount of points for one card. Uh, it's that player at the background, Tom, uh, Julian Brandt, which let them down with only 218. Belgium had two very all-round cards there, Munier and Kevin De Bruyne. So, um, Belgium are through. So, this is epic. So, let's put Germany to one side. Let's put their losing cards to one side as well. So, here is how the next round will play out. So, it'll be Switzerland versus Russia. The quarterfinals, of course. Turkey versus Ukraine. Croatia versus Belgium. And France versus the Netherlands. So... So here we have it. There is the quarter finalist for the Euro 2020 Adrenaline XL edition on the GBW YouTube channel. Uh, Switzerland versus Russia, Turkey versus Ukraine, Croatia versus Belgium, and France versus the Netherlands. So guess put your guesses in the comment section now, guys and girls. Who is going to win this Euro 2020 tournament? Uh, it's very exciting, actually. I've got no idea because, well, I mean, there could be a shock. Ukraine have made it to the quarterfinals. Who would have thought that? Turkey as well. I mean, they have a decent side, to be fair. But, obviously, France, Netherlands, Croatia and Belgium, um, the heavy favourites so far. But two very big ties, that Croatia versus Belgium and France versus Netherlands. So, we're going to be knocking out two of the big boys um, in the quarterfinals. So, it's, it's all to play for. Ukraine, Turkey, Switzerland, Russia... They could win this tournament, you know. So, hope you did enjoy this video. Um, stay tuned to the channel for more fantastic Euro 2020 videos uh, using the Adrenaline XL cards. Uh, it's actually a really cool collection. So, if you are a bit bored during this lockdown period, make sure try and order some cards online. I think you can order from the Panini website, and um, you can open these while you're bored and not doing anything. So, I'd, I'd recommend doing that. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the Panini website if you want to purchase some products for yourself. But yeah, if you if you don't want to purchase products, I'll be uploading videos um, as much as I can. Um, so yeah, make sure to absolutely smash the like button, subscribe, turn the notification bell uh, so you get notified to your mobile tablet and computer device when I upload a new video, um, which is crazy, isn't it? But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.